Hey, how are we doing out there, guys? So today we're gonna keep uh, on our winter fundamentals kick here and work our brilliance at the basic stuff. Uh, here it's uh, below zero again today. Kind of keeps melting and refreezing, so it's making setting up for uh, our moving drills a lot tougher. So we're gonna really spend this winter working on uh, that brilliance at the basics, our fundamental stuff. So what we're doing today is cadence fire. So our cadence fire is a very excellent tool that we're gonna use um, not only to improve my ability to control recoil and to get back on target quickly, but I'm gonna use it as a diagnostic tool uh, to let me know where or when uh, my shooting fundamentals start to fall apart, either what distance or what speed, uh, and in what manner they start to fall apart. So I'm gonna be working at seven yards here. I've got some uh, three by five cards that I just bend in half and shoot three by threes. You buy them at Walmart nice and cheap. So we're gonna start with is we're gonna start nice and easy. We'll get my timer out. So we're gonna go seven yards on that top target. All right, and we're gonna keep our one second cadence. So when I'm shooting, you're gonna hear me say 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, so on and so forth. So personally, I like to use a minimum of a six round cadence fire. That way I take the accidental um, procedures out of there. Whereas if I only shot two or three rounds, it's possible I could just get lucky uh, and shoot a good uh, group or a good drill. Whereas if I start to shoot six, eight, ten rounds, now uh, chances are I'm not going to be able to get lucky and do that. It's going to be an actual, uh, you know, telling of my fundamentals. So check it out, see what you guys think. Okay, guys, so for this first one, we're seven yards. We're going to be on our one second cadence. So you're going to hear me count out 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, all the way up to eight. All right, and then we'll go check our hits downrange. All right, let's go check hits. Okay, so shooting at our top target here. We got all eight in there. Did pretty well on that. Uh, our total time was 9.04. Let's see what it took to get that first round off. Uh, so looking at splits of about 0 .80, so slightly faster than one second, but uh, right on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to our half second cadence now. Okay guys, we're moving to half second cadence. Now I'm gonna drop down to that second target. Now you're gonna hear me count it out one and two and three and four and so on up to eight. All right, so make sure our fundamentals are good. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go check target here. Okay, shooting on that number two target. So looks like we got them all in. Pretty good group on that. Let's check total time here. So let's see, looks like we shot 640 on that. Splits were 0 .45, 0 .44. 0.44, so all good on our splits on that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and move to our quarter second cadence. Okay, guys, we're gonna move to quarter second cadence now. So for quarter second, I'm just gonna count straight through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now we're starting to get fast. Here's where I expect that group to potentially start to open up. So watch for some things in my group when I shoot here. So one, if I'm trailing off up and to the right, means I'm riding the recoil, not controlling it very well. If you see that pattern stay fairly consistent but start to open up, that means I'm probably doing a decent job of controlling recoil, but I'm starting to not be able to handle the speed. If you see rounds starting to go low and high consistently, that means I'm starting to drive really hard into the trigger and drive really hard into the gun, feeling that recoil and trying to compensate for it that way. So check it out, quarter second, let's see what we can do.
All right, let's go check our hits out down here. Okay, we're starting to open up just a little bit here, so I got two off top and two off of bottom right there. But all in all, that's a pretty decent one. I thought I did pretty well on that. We'll see if we can't uh, can't maintain that when we go faster on this one. Let's check out time. Let's see how we did. Okay, so we went we went total time of 4:55. So we got first one off at 2:47. Let's check splits. So it went 34, a little slow. 30, 30, 29. Uh, but there we can see that. So 29, 31. So about quarter second, slightly slow on that. We're going to go ahead and ramp it up uh, to our under quarter second cadence. Let's check it out. Okay, guys. So the last one we're going to do here is going to be my sub quarter second splits or my as fast as I can go. So for this one, I'm just going to, once I get the first round off, I'm going to squeeze the trigger as fast as I can. So this is the one where I definitely expect uh, my grouping to open up. So you can see on that quarter second split, started to open up, but stayed pretty consistent for shooting at a, a three by three card on that. On this one, I'm um, definitely going to watch some things like if my rounds are trailing up, if they're going high to low, driving that trigger, or if it just opens back up. So eight rounds as fast as we can squeeze the trigger after that first round on the bottom target. Let's see what we can do. Okay guys, let's go check target. I actually think I shot that better than I did the half second or the quarter second cadence, which that'll happen sometimes. So see, we got one off here, and uh, we got one that greased here and one missed there. But overall, uh, pretty good group on that. As far as trying to shoot sub quarter seconds, let's uh, let's get the timer out here. Let's see what we shot. So we went eight rounds. We did uh, just under four seconds. Let's check splits here. So we went 22, 22, 22, 21, 19, 20. So it looks like we're averaging about uh, 0.2, maybe slightly faster on that. Uh, pretty good group. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Okay guys, so just finished up with the cadence fire. Like I said, it's a very good training tool, very good diagnostic to see where you're at fundamentally and at what speed and at what range your fundamentals start to break down. Everybody's break down, uh, so don't get concerned with that. So go ahead and try this out. Remember, um, you can always modify this. I like to start out either with myself or when I'm helping other people out, start at three or five yards, start on that one second cadence. If they can make that one second cadence work, now we go half second. If they can run all the way through half second, quarter second, and as fast as they can go, keeping all their shots on the target that you've got them shooting at, we back them up to seven yards, 10 yards, 10, 12, 15, whatever it may be. Remember, it's modifiable. Use this as another training tool to help you, especially while it's freaking negative five, negative 10 out here today, nice and cold. So remember, brilliance at the basics. And uh, remember, guys, only the hits count, and you can never miss fast enough to catch back up.